Good morning. This is Robert Carlsabstein bringing you this morning's market update. Last week's Federal Reserve decision to maintain current interest levels brought new waves of volatility to the market and saw US indices fall on Friday. However, space has been provided for dividend payers and housing stocks. The US 10 year treasuries are currently yielding 2 spot 1.4%, while the US 500 is offering a 2.2% dividend yield, which should appeal to income hungry investors who believe interest rates will remain low for the foreseeable future. The US 500 lost 26 points, closing on Friday at 1,960 spot 25. The US Tech 100 fell 45 points, closing on 4,336 spot 25. And the Wall Street declined 240 points to 16,419. While the Fed looks set to, inter to hike interest rates at some point this year, with Yellen building a case built on the foundation of rapid hiring by corporate America, driving the US to full employment, the Thursday's announcement, however, transferred more uncertainty to investors as Yellen made explicit reference to global economic and financial developments and the damage these could do to US growth and inflation. Looking at commodities, gold has rallied upwards $8 to close on $1,139.20, while Brent crude lost $1.50, closing at $47.83 a barrel. A report published Monday says $1.5 trillion of potential investments globally, including in North America's shell producing heartlands, is out of money. At current oil prices close to $50 a barrel and unlikely to go ahead, industry operators expect capital spending on new projects to, to decline by between 20 and 30 percent on average in the wake of the price slide. It calculates that $220 billion of investment has been cut so far, about $20 billion more than it estimated two months ago, and much of it the result of projects being deferred. Such a decline in spending means that the price crash since last summer, the result of weaker Chinese demand, record US production, and Saudi Arabia's decision not to cut output could resemble the savage downturn of the mid-1980s. Looking at Europe, Greek voters had the choice to reject the man who led their country closer than ever to being forced out of Europe's single currency. Instead, they embraced him. Alex Tsipras and his coalition of the radical left, or Syria, emerged from a second election in eight months with a level of support barely diminished from the emphatic victory that catapulted him both into power and a standoff with the Euro region. Syria, which took 35.5% of the vote compared with 28.1% for the centre-right New Democracy, will enter a coalition with the same small party that helped it rule before. While the victory tightens Tsipras's hold over Greek politics, it also exposes the paradoxes of a country whose economy is a shadow of its former self and where controls remain on bank withdrawals. After coming to power, pledging to end austerity and restore dignity, Tsipras now must take must make the further sharp spending cuts and tax increases he ended up agreeing in exchange for 86 billion euros of fresh European aid. The Germany 30 on Friday closed down 248 points at 9,940 spot 5, set to possibly suffer further today as shares in Volkswagen have tumbled in the wake of findings that the car maker cheated on US emission tests to make its vehicles appear less polluting. The fall came after the chief executive of Volkswagen apologised and ordered an external investigation into the affair. Shares in the German car maker fell 15% to 137 euros in early trading today. The authorities ordered Volkswagen to recall 482,000 cars because of use of so-called defeat devices, which use software to detect when the car is being tested and runs treatments to reduce nitrogen oxides. Once out on the road, the cars were discovered to produce pollutants up to 40 times the legal limits. The, discoveries, the discovery leaves the German car maker, which has admitted to using the defeat devices, potentially facing billions of dollars in fines and warranty costs, possible criminal charges for executives and class action lawsuits from US drivers. The UK 100 declined 68 points to close on 6,105 spot 6 and looks to fall further today after the announcement that Zurich Insurance has abandoned plans to buy the UK's RSA group, saying it wanted to focus instead on rectifying a series of hits to its general insurance business. The Swiss insurer last month made a proposed £5.6 billion offer for RSA, but today the Zurich-based insurer unexpectedly announced it was dropping the bid. The move triggered a sharp sell-off 
sh sharp sell-off in shares of RSA. Its shares were down 22% in early trade at 399 pence. In today's corporate news, retailer French Connection reported revenue to have fallen to £76 million from £84 million. And today's economic data in focus at 9am was the release from Spain's trade balance for August. At 10, we see Greece's current account year on year for July. At 3 o'clock in the US, we see existing home sales month on month for August and the Fed's Lockhart speech at 6pm. That's all for this morning's market update. Thank you and goodbye.